Hello, my name is Tom Siles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 277. And what you're looking at is a picture of my newer Bofang handheld dual band amateur radio. And uh, this particular one is the UV-B5, which I got about a week ago and still learning how to use it. Well, one of the things you have to do initially is you have to program the thing. And if you're doing that by hand, that can get pretty tedious. So when I got my original Bofang radio, which is the uh, 5R, I opted for uh, a programming cable, which cost me about $12, and some free software, which didn't cost anything. It was free. And I just want to show you an update because I attempted to program my new radio, the B5, using the same cable and the same software, and it did not work. It said it couldn't find the radio. Well, I looked uh, to see if there was an update, because when I was trying to do the programming originally, um, it didn't give me an option for a B5. It just said UV5R and some other UV5R derivatives. So I thought, well, maybe things are a little different because the number of, the, of memory storage locations is definitely different between the two radios. So I went to the website, and I'll go to that right now, of this software I'm using, which is called CHIRP. And it, it turns out this software is not for just programming the Bofang UV5R, which is where it came, became very popular. But it also will program a lot of other radios. So I went down here and I'm like, okay, where? Okay, there's Bofang. There's my UV5R invariants, and sure enough, there's my UVB5. So I thought, well, maybe this is an update. So I updated uh, my software, and sure enough, when I went into the uh, software and selected my radio, there was now a selection, a whole bunch of selections, but one of them was for my B5. And when I selected that and told it to download from the radio, it worked. It worked fine. And uh, here's kind of a, a one web page, or one picture of the software. And this is the, uh, the picture showing you the channels and programming those channels. And um, this, you know, this is all the options that you have available just for programming the memory channels. Now, there's other options. There's a lot of other options that you can select and modify using this software. Plus, the one thing that this do this particular page doesn't show is that you can download frequencies from several websites using this software. Now, for instance, the Radio Reference website, which I've talked about several times, has listings of various frequencies, be they uh, utility frequencies, police, emergency, or even repeaters. And if you um, get a membership, which I think... I think it's fifteen dollars a month for one month, and then there's other packages for six months and twelve months, making it cheaper. But if you get that subscription, then this program, the Chirp program, will interface with that website and download the information into its program, and then allow you to program your radio automatically. That's cool. And there's a couple other websites that it works with also. So this thing has really, this program has really grown. And I really would, if you have uh, one of the Bofang radios, or even if you go back to this list, you got Alinko, you got Kenwood. I mean, he programs everything. There's a whole bunch of icons you can program with this software. And uh, it's definitely, and this is free software. You just ask for a donation, um, but you can use it initially for free. Very simple to install. 
And of course, you have to buy the cable um, to program and connect to your radio. So I just thought I'd show you this update. This is a very great program. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment or send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.